Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And today I'm going to show you a free tool that is going to make a bunch of Unreal Engine users happy because there's something that makes a lot of Unreal Engine users sad and you're looking at it right now. This is the Epic Game Launcher and if you're using Unreal Engine, you have to use this guy. And this thing, uh, it's terrible to be honest. Like, it's it's pretty, uh, but it's infuriating. This is actually where the Epic Game Store is implemented. So here you can see, this is the Epic Game Store. Uh, the Unreal Engine stuff is all cooked into this as well. So let's switch on back. You're going to find if you ever use the Epic game launcher it's just slow it, it's cumbersome it doesn't have a lot of features and in fact i found out about today's solution because i was looking for a way to find out if i go to the library and i want to say okay what do i have installed so i have 58 gigabytes worth of stuff and i want to erase something how do i do that you think okay well you just filter by installed nope that's not an option so what i'm going to show you today is an option to completely get rid of the epic game launcher the only thing that you still would need is the marketplace now the cool thing here is i've already showed you how to get rid of the marketplace and i'll give you a quick rehab of that as well so, I'm not going to get into this much, I already covered it in a previous video, but if you are looking to replace the search functionality of the Unreal Engine Marketplace, go check out Orbital Market. It's an online website, uh, completely new search ability for the Marketplace. It makes finding assets so much easier and nicer, so do be sure to check out that video, I will link that down below as well. But what we're talking about today uh, is the Asset Management Studio. Now, this guy is ugly. Now, no, no offense to the creator, this is definitely a uh, function sorry yeah function over form kind of application but what it does it does very well and what it does basically is replaces the uh, epic games launcher so you don't have to use it at all so let's go ahead and take a look at it in action here it is and again it is very bare bones from a UI perspective but at the flip side it's fast so you want to switch between tabs you just switch between tabs it is Presto, done, and that is appreciated. So here you can also see, here are my project. I wanna go ahead and launch a project, I can launch it here. We got quick actions we can do here. Uh, it will handle things like if you install a new plugin and you need to do a rebuild, it will do that for you. If you wanna launch a specific version, you can launch from up there. I didn't actually mean to click the button, so I'll be right back. All right, so here we are in Unreal Engine. I did not intend to launch. You can see it's just like invoking it from the Epic Games Launcher. Uh, I don't know if you come back automatically after launch. No, you don't. So I'm just going to load that guy back up. So that was not my intended uh, intended path there. Uh, but as you can see, I can load it back up. Boom, instant. So it's a quick application to work with, which is very nice. So obviously, you can manage your projects. You can delete your projects as well. Uh, you can also open them up in your uh, local file system. This does work with uh, Linux, Mac, and Windows, although that's not a full parity thing. The uh, Mac version is experimental, and the Windows version doesn't have the command line tools that the Linux version does. And yes, there are command line tools. We'll get back to that in just a minute. Uh, you also have your asset management. So all of the assets that you've installed, so if you've, you know, basically this vault here is available. You notice how slowly that scrolls. Well, that is basically handled here. This is all the same thing. Uh, you have sorting options up here. So you can sort by the day it was modified, how recently it was added. You can filter down to specific types. So if, again, I just care about the mega scan stuff, here they are all available. You click any one aspect here. Uh, you install it into a project or you can download it. It handles all of that locally as well. So again, all the stuff you would normally need to go into the Epic Game Launcher for, you can do that here. Now the big difference here between this and the Epic Game Launcher is the Epic Game Launcher normally at this point in time, for some reason I can't understand, is taking up 80% of my GPU 130% of my CPU and 17 gigabytes of RAM. This is not. Now you also have Unreal Engine management, so you've got uh, you know all the various different versions you've got available here. Uh, you can set the default engine that launches. You can install new versions of Unreal Engine directly from here. All of the various different versions are available, and of course it will handle the download for you. Uh, and then finally, and this is kind of what got me looking at this guy in the first place, you have Vault management. Now this is not available at all in the Epic Game Launcher, and basically this allows you to do is go through and handle things that you've downloaded locally. Um, so. If you're a regular channel, you know that I cover the free stuff every month, for example, and I just keep getting more and more and more of these things. So these are all the things that are locally installed in my machine, how much space they take up. Unfortunately, it's obfuscating the name, so it's going by the vault name only. So figuring out exactly what you're looking at requires a little bit of logic here, which is unfortunate. Uh, hopefully at some point in time, they can actually put the, the name of the vault item from the uh, assets library here. But if you want to go ahead and clean out your vault, you can literally just come on in here and you can just delete everything and this is something i have been looking for for a very long time it's silly how small this is but it's actually just something that uh because i download a lot of stuff use it and then don't use it anymore so now i can just come in here and i can just delete away by the way you can also do this so if you want to get rid of things from your vault 
uh, like all at once. You can hop straight into the vault cache, come in here, just basically select everything and get rid of everything. Uh, and that's something you could do from the command line anyways. But sometimes even locating the vault can be a challenge. This makes it easy. Uh, by the way, once that is actually done, uh, you do have options up here for if you make changes for stuff. So I can refresh the vault and it will get rid of the uh, things that I've deleted once it's finished deleting them. Uh, so that is essentially it. Uh, there is one little snag that I ran into with this guy. Uh, so it works fast. The performance is great. The filtering is good. It's not using a ton of resources. Basically, it is like a stripped down lightweight version of the Epic Game Launcher without the Epic Game Launcher's bloat, which I appreciate. Uh, but when you're setting it up, this one is a trick. Uh, so little thing that you're going to run into. So you can set up uh, first off, it, this automatically crops off so the save button isn't visible. Uh, so make sure that you scroll down and save the changes you make. The other thing that you want to do is make sure you have this trailing slash. So if you have project paths and you're going to define them, make sure that trailing slash is there, at least on the Windows platform, or it will not be available. And again, when they first run the settings window, the settings window is going to look like this. So you're going to come in, you're going to make a change, and you're going to think you're done. But no, you got to come down here and click the save. But make sure you have that trailing slash, or your projects will not show up. That's the only glitch I've run into, though. Uh, and compared to the stuff that I run into on a literal minute by minute basis with the Epic Game Launcher, I will take it. Uh, you do have to log in, by the way, uh, so it'll bring you to the, uh, well, I've already logged in. It'll bring you to the Epic Launcher page, and you've got you to gotta log in that way to get access to all of your stuff. But once that's done, uh, it is uh, done and handled. So this guy basically takes all the tasks that the Epic Game Launcher does for Unreal Engine, and it just does them in a nice manner. So you can see here, uh, the key things here, so they are talking about CLI usage, and now it could be just I'm an idiot, uh, but the CLI or the command line interface, the terminal interface or whatever, simply did not work for me. I don't know if it's, again, uh, might only be available on the Linux install, or again, it might be that I'm an idiot. Uh, so you've got also, um, you can, uh, local install, uh, it handles all of the various different things for you. You can handle the updating of engines or plugins for engines. Works with Unreal Engine 4 and 5. Again, it does handle compiling plugins for the current engine. Disk cleanup and less download time for plugins. And then we've got other features coming soon. So again, Mac support is going to be unexperimental at some point in the future. A marketplace tab, a community tab, resource tab, learning tab, image caching, launch profiles, uh, quick engine setup. Uh, and so on are all like, hopefuls in the future. If you know, if you want to help support them to get those things happening, you can. His links are available here. If you want to go ahead and download this guy, uh, it is available for Windows and Linux as downloads. Again, right now, Mac is considered experimental. I don't know how you actually go about getting the Mac install, but for the most part, Mac is a future thing. So you definitely want to be uh, in this world right here. Uh, and yeah, if you want to see, there is a command line interface that they are showing right here. Uh, again, I. I, it just doesn't work for me on um, on a Windows machine. So it could be that this is a Linux-only feature or it could be coming soon or whatever. And it's kind of a shame because you can actually do things like, again, you can get a list of all the engines installed, all of the plugins installed, and so on, uh, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, so you can see a list of the things that you can actually do from the CLI uh, if it works. So if you wanted to script a lot of this stuff, you can do so in the future version. Hopefully that all comes to Windows, or hopefully it works now, and it's just a user error thing because that's perfectly possible. So again, not the prettiest thing you've ever seen in your life, but Asset Manager Studio, it gets rid of one of the worst parts of Unreal Engine, and that is this guy. That is the Epic Game Launcher. You may not be like me. You may like the Epic Game Launcher. You may like having half of your computer's resources being used in the background for no apparent reason. And if that's the case, stick with this guy. But if you like the idea of having a lightweight, minimalistic, like no frills version of the Epic Game Launcher, uh, highly, highly recommend you check out Asset Manager Studio. Again, it's not the uh, prettiest thing you've ever seen, but it is functional. And function over form, I will take just about every day of the week. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Asset Manager Studio. Also another thing to remember to check out, uh, if you're looking for an alternative, there is the Orbital Market. Uh, this is a website, so basically you just go to the Orbital Market, and it's an alternative search engine, but it allows you to do things like show uh, recently released free stuff and things like that. It works so much faster. Some nicer, newer information in here. So if you're looking for an alternative to the, uh, the, the marketplace search part functionality of the Epic Launcher, this is available here as well. Again, entirely uh, web-based. But uh, what we're looking at today is the Asset Manager Studio, available, download basically both as portable and as an installer version. And let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.